I got to talk to you about this age thing. Did you hear us uh, conversing about the the age limit up at Skagit? What they did, they put out an announcement that they're going to allow 14 year old drivers to race in 360 and 305 sprint cars, but you have to be 16 to run a 410 sprint car. What's your thoughts of that? Yeah, that, I'm I'm kind of with you on that. It doesn't make a lot of sense um, because and and, and I kind of get. I can even, and, and again, this is where it's so subjective, and I think that's a problem with all rules. You know, I mean, and, and that doesn't mean we shouldn't have rules, but it's so subjective. When you look at it, when you look at, I think it's a smaller difference between 360 and 410 than it is from 305 to 360. Right. You know, I just I just think that when you get... When you get to a 360 sprint car, it's 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 close to a 410, and right. so um, I, I tend to I, I tend to agree with where you guys landed on this thing. Um, you know, I, and and I I somewhat believe I'm into an age limit, and if we're going to do it, let's just do it where it makes sense. Somewhere like Knoxville does at age 16, um, right. knowing that we're going to knowing that we're going to have the exceptions like Ryan Timms that unfortunately we're going to exclude from running wing sprint cars. Right. But knowing also that there's a number of 14 and 15 year olds that, that, that probably need a year or two of micros or midgets before they get to sprint cars. Right. And it, so I think that's Aaron on the side of uh, safety on that. There's no doubt that there's certain drivers at the age of 14, 15 and 16 that have uber talent right i mean ryan Timms is yeah. a great example of a kid that's got just tremendous amount of talent but uh, but my problem is is and i this is what i worry about more than anything when you're 14 years old your body's not fully developed and if you have a really nasty wreck in a sprint car what's that going to do to the young uh, uh young person's body when they flip and they yeah. you know that's that's my concern more than anything I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I um, I, and and I watched Ryan run obviously three sixties with the ASCS National Tour last year. I watched him run some races, and we see him over at Millbridge a lot running the micro. And I, I just look at him, and and he's he's a kid, right. you know. I mean, and 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 you're right. I mean, it's like incredible talent, and the way he wheels a car, yet he climbs out, and he's like. He's a kid, right? And right. so, I mean, it's just it, it boggles my mind. It's it's you know because when when you see him run a sprint car at a place like uh, I thirty, which yep. is with you know I thirty in Batesville, where I saw him race last year, you're like, who's that guy in that car? You know, and he gets out. It's a kid. And, you know, I just I just worry, and this is probably a societal thing as well, you know, we're in such a hurry to, 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 to get to where we're going with our, with our, with, with everything. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe, maybe slowing down, and I, I, I tend to wonder and think that Knoxville might be right. Just, let's just pump the brakes here, um, you know, run, run micros, run midgets. If we want to do a different age limit on a midget, let's do that. And, uh, and, and and when you're 16, when you get that driver's license, which is kind of a cutoff point, a natural cutoff point, um, although some states are varying from that now, um, you know, I just think that we, you know, we, we, you know, let's let's slow the pace down a little bit, and uh, the, the the talent is still going to make it to the top. So right, I eventually. Don't know that, yeah. I don't know that getting a jump as a 13 year old in a sprint car. Uh, is is it, it, it may seem short term like a head start, but the talented drivers are going to make it to the top. You know, it seems to me, Steve, uh, that it's you would think that insurance companies wouldn't allow that to happen, right? I mean, me personally, yeah. if if I owned an insurance company, I'm going to look out what's best for my uh, my company as an insurance company, and I, I'm not going to allow. You know, when I was growing up. You couldn't drive any car till you were 16 years old, right? Yeah. I'm so with you on that. I, I'm i shocked tracks and sanctioning bodies are having to make this decision. Yeah. Because I would assume that insurance companies would make them for them. Um, but they're not. And, I, and I, that's what I'm totally with you on that. It boggles my mind uh, that, you know, that the insurance companies – haven't uh you know haven't put some stipulations on these things and 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 how you do it 
you know how you do it. You 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 know you, you there's always open for debate, but an insurance company do it would make it pretty clear cut and simple and tracks. You know because the problem is the problem is is that your track. You know Knoxville can pull it off because it's Knoxville, right? Okay, right. everyone wants to run in Knoxville. But that young hotshot kid, if there's a, you know, with, with, with maybe a big sponsor uh, or a big following, um, if one track's going to allow him to race or one track's not going to allow him to race, you know as well as I do, Scott, there's a track down the road that's going to let him race. Or or, ri- know, or, so. or rich dad, Steve. we got to throw that part that's in exactly there. That's exactly right. Right? Yep. Right, right. So, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, you're right. So, I mean, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked tracks like Skagit are having to make this call. I'm shocked insurance companies haven't made it for them already. I, I I think there's going to come a point to where everybody's going to get on the same page. I would like to think so, but maybe not. I don't know. I, I just Scott, I can't get Scott, my mind around it, it. Really, I hate to say I hate to say it. I agree that I think we get on the same page. The problem is what happens to put us on the same page. Somebody's That's my concern about it. Somebody's going to have yes. to get hurt, right? And and I and I hate that about us as a society, right? You know, but that's I just I just think I, I just think that um, you know God forbid, and I and I hope this does not happen. We don't want anybody to get have, hurt, right? Exactly. But if but I think what the, the catalyst to this would be some some thirteen or fourteen year old kid getting seriously hurt, yeah. You know, on a on a you know on a uh, you know not at a not at a small track that doesn't do pay per view but on a big show somewhere where everybody is watching right. um, and I, I think at that point I think at that point that would uh, that would put us in that spot and God forbid and I hope that never happens uh, but I, I I tend to think that if something like that were to happen we we'd get some changes in a hurry I would think. Yeah.